Hello and welcome to another episode of Dine with World. My name is Amina and this is the first episode of the Ramzan Transmission. We promise to bring you recipes that are not only flavorful, but they are going to be nutritious, healthy, uh, and of course not only great in taste, but they are also going to add color and variety to your table. But let's not forget the real essence of Ramadan. Ramadan is all about moderation and self-control. So let's just go easy on the eating and not overspend. With me um, on set, I have the executive sous chef of the Islamabad Marriott Hotel and he's going to teach us a recipe that is everyone's favorite. We all love it. Our first recipe is Middle Eastern Shawarma or just Shawarma. It doesn't that sound exciting. Let me welcome Chef Ali first. Hello Ali, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm very excited about the recipe of authentic Shawarma, right? Yes. Because Ali has spent time in the Middle East. Yes, and I have, and it's authentic and it's very easy to okay. make Perfect. for uh, our viewers. So. Perfect. Um, so let's go into the ingredients first. The ingredients of chicken shawarma are raw chicken 100 grams, chili powder 1 teaspoon, turmeric powder 1 teaspoon, cumin powder 1 teaspoon, garlic paste 1 teaspoon, salt 3 grams, black pepper 3 grams, lemon juice 10 milliliters, pita bread 1, Sliced tomato, half a piece. Sliced onion, half a piece. Arabic pickles, two pieces. Garlic sauce, two tablespoons. Let's go on to the ingredients. Arabic pickle, chopped onions, garlic sauce. Arabic pickle, julienne onions, mm -hmm. tomatoes, uh, garlic paste, okay. garlic sauce, right. chili powder, right. Lemon juice, right? Turmeric powder, yes. Cumin powder, cumin powder, right? Uh, yogurt, yogurt, and this is and for the chicken. garlic. This is for the garlic paste. This is for the marinade. So what is this? This is a garlic uh, sauce. Chef Ali, could you tell us how to make garlic sauce at home? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, for garlic sauce, you take uh, 100 grams of uh, mayonnaise which is uh, around five tablespoons. Uh, one clove of garlic, fine chopped. Lemon juice, one tablespoon. Salt and pepper, uh, pinch salt, pinch of pepper. And you mix it up and you have your nice garlic sauce. That was very easy. You take mayonnaise, uh, one lemon, garlic paste, salt and pepper, a pinch and we're ready. Yes. Perfect. Let's go on to the marination first. So let's uh, do a marination for our chicken. Yes. First I will take uh, Two tablespoons of yogurt for a hundred. This is for a hundred grams of uh, chicken. Right. I will take uh, two te two teaspoon of uh, lemon juice, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of uh, garlic. And cumin powder, same half, same for the turmeric. Now I will mix it with uh, one tablespoon of oil, cooking oil. Mix it well. So it's interesting it how well. we use yogurt here. Yes. So this, when you make your marination, uh, make sure you taste it. It should be a little bit salty. Salt should be. Uh, okay. So for those of you who have just joined in, we are making authentic shawarmas. Uh, the first step is um, the marination. Chef Ali took two tablespoons of yogurt, cumin, red chili, uh, crushed chili, sorry. Uh, you take turmeric and garlic paste with a pinch of salt and pepper and mix it well, right? Ali? Yes, a lemon juice. And lemon juice. So now I'm going to uh, add my chicken into the marination. And after you marinate this 
is how it should look like. Right. Yeah. And this should you should marinate this at least half an hour to one hour. Right. Um, should, uh, room temperature should we put this in the fridge? I uh, should leave it in the uh, fridge. Okay. So it's nice and. Uh, the more you leave it to marinate, uh, of course, the better the taste. Yeah, of course, right? yeah. The more you leave it. That's uh, the secret about marination. The more you leave it, the more flavor the, the meat will absorb. Now, uh, we're going to start uh, cooking. Great. Take two tablespoons of oil, cooking oil. Two tablespoons of cooking oil. It's a non stick frying pan. Yeah. yeah, we have to be uh, careful. Do you, Ramazan, I know the pakoras and all are nice. But uh, here uh, on Dine with World, we are going to make healthy recipes because yeah. we don't want you to suffer from problems exactly. due to overeating and due to heavy food. So the lighter the food during iftar, yeah. the better it is. So you can eat uh, during sahur as well. Exactly. So this is shallow frying with just a little bit of uh, cooking oil and right. Lower. Yeah. So Chef Ali, are you going to teach us how to make different dips with this as well, or are you going to? Uh, well, traditionally garlic sauce yeah, right. is is the most important in uh, shawarma. But you can also do uh, hummus, which is uh, which take a little bit time. Okay. But in uh, future uh, shows, I will teach you how to do that as well. Perfect. And this doesn't take too long, I believe. Uh, no, this this is the very this is very quick recipe. You can just do it in 15 minutes. Wow! So you're running late. So now we have something different. This is and uh, now this is the pita bread which you can uh, find easily in supermarket and if you do not have pita bread at home for some reason you cannot go to the supermarket we can substitute it with the uh, normal chapati yeah normal chapati just add a little bit of uh, baking soda and oil into your dough okay. normal chapati dough and you will have uh, something like this okay and this is Okay, uh, this is pizza to bread. Add white flour to it. Yeah, white flour. No, your normal chapati dough. Okay. With uh, let's say 250 grams of flour, you need uh, one tablespoon of olive oil or uh, cooking oil and uh, baking soda, one pinch. So you would have something like this. Okay, great. Thank you. Now. Almost done. See the smell. I know you're fasting, but this is so yes, tempting. Yes, um, it is tempting. So now I'm going to prepare uh, shawarma bread, right. pita bread, with some Shop. sliced uh, julian, uh, julian tomatoes. I have Julian onions and some uh, Arabic pickle, which this you can also find in uh, supermarket yes, you easily. Can. Yes. That's a beautiful jar of vegetables. Yeah. Okay. So. To make a sandwich wrap, shawarma wrap. Oh, let me just stir this. Hmm. Uh, just remember this. This is a hundred grams recipe. It's good for one. Uh, one serving. One serving. Okay. So, so now I'm he's um, he's making a bed of salad on the pita bread. Layering it with lettuce, cucumbers. So, um, uh, Ali, how how are the iftar items different in the Middle East 
I know I've lived in in the Middle East for a long time, and I know it's very different. But you can mind you can share it with our viewers. Um, they're more into. They're more into uh, grill items. Yeah. And uh, uh, their their uh, desserts are really really sweet. Yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, we have sweet dessert. We have kheer. We have different uh, kinds of sweet, but their 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 level of sweet is. Because they use a lot of sugar syrup. Yeah. Sugar, honey. syrupy, honey, dates. Yeah. Their uh, desserts and more based on dates. And one of my friends, they used to have two dates and a glass of milk for sahur. That's it. But that's it. Im imagine that's the power and the, that's how nutritious dates are. Yeah, they're very nutritious. Uh, so now, uh, shawarma is ready. Uh, the meat, the chicken. The chicken is ready. Chicken shawarma chicken is ready. I'm going to lay this on the on the sandwich. Now traditionally we have a shawarma machine and you know uh, the guy if you want shawarma the guy you go to the guy and you he will uh, slice, it off, slice it off yeah. from, the, it, yeah. from the whole roll. But uh, at home, it's a little bit expensive. So now, I show you the easy way. Okay, you now, wrap it, fold okay. it. Yeah, uh, you must have, this is the trick, okay? So you fold it from the side first. See my hands? Okay. okay? Take your thumbs okay. underneath, uh, on the other side, and make sure uh, your four fingers are uh, in the front, okay? Right. And then, you just wrap. Okay. There you go. Wow, and you, it's nice and you tuck it in as firm as possible. Don't push it too hard or else uh, you will break the bread and everything will come out. Okay? Now like this. Okay? And now you will cut. Take a plate. A little bit of salad. And well, if you have hummus at home or even tahina at home, you can spread a little of tahina and hummus on the pita bread with the garlic sauce. Well, it just depends on your taste. I do not like to put tahina and hummus on my shawarma, just the garlic paste. Wow, that was very easy to make, simple and um, different. And most of all, Ali, it's healthy. It's healthy. Because you've not used much of oil in this recipe. You can even use less oil. Uh, sure, because you just have to pan fry the chicken. And the chicken shawarma is ready to serve. So we have completed chicken shawarma. It just took us 10 minutes to make a single serving of shawarma. Uh, our next recipe is going to be... Potato hara. Could you tell me a little more about potato hara? It's a... Uh, it's another Middle Eastern recipe. It's a potato wedges, spicy and uh, sour. Sourness, spicy, you got lemon juice, you have chili, uh, you have a little bit of garlic, so and it's very that's nice. served with? Uh, so you, can, you can have it with mayonnaise, you can have, have it with ketchup. It's a uh, it's very good recipe uh, when you're breaking your fast. Uh, that um, sounds really delicious. I'm sure it's gonna taste as delicious. But I can only check after if that. <laughs> Let's go on to the recipe of potato hara. The ingredients are potato wedges boiled, 8 pieces, chopped coriander, 10 grams, chopped garlic, 10 grams, chili flakes, 10 grams, lemon juice, 50 milliliters, corn oil, 50 milliliters. So, we need potato wedges boiled. These are the potato wedges. Can you just show it to our viewers? Potato. And you've not peeled the skin off, right? No, uh, with skin. Uh, I love just, it when it's with skin. Yeah, it's because it's crispy. You have all the flavor. If you want yeah, to take out all true. this, uh, the, once the, you peel the skin off, you don't have any flavor. So yeah, so flavorful. So. Then we have the chopped coriander. Chopped um, coriander. We have crushed chili. Crushed chili. We have the chopped we have garlic. Lemon juice. We have uh, chopped garlic. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we need corn oil, right. and that's it. Corn oil. Yeah. Perfect. Let's start. So we're going to deep fry the 
chicken, uh, sorry, the, the potatoes. Yes. Potatoes this are such a favorite ingredient. And it's such Iftar. a versatile oh, uh, yes, ingredient it is. as well. <laughs> Goes with anything. You know, the first time I made something for myself during Iftar was when I was 15 and I was I was hungry and I wanted to pass my time. So I just opened up a magazine mm -hmm. and I made a recipe called Kung Pao Chicken. Kung Pao Chicken. And you know what? It's been in my family now for a long time because surprisingly I made it really well. Okay. And so now whoever comes is like, Amina, you have to make the kung, that Kung Pao Chicken. So you're famous for Kung Pao Chicken. I'm famous for that easy Kung Pao Chicken. It was That's just right. like in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. I made it in 10 minutes. That's very good. Okay. Uh, so uh, it's now we have potatoes, boiled potatoes. I'm just going to marinate them salt and pepper. Okay. okay. So now, uh, first, what I will do is I, I will make a, a sauce kind of uh, okay. sauce for the for our potatoes. Right. To once I deep fry them, after I deep fry, I will coat all the sauce into the potato. Wow! Okay. What is the sauce? In there? Uh, I will start with oil. What is the sauce called? It's just a marination. This uh, hara. It's called a hara sauce. Okay, hara sauce. Is it an Arabic word? Yes, yeah, Arabic word. What does it mean? It means. Uh, okay, it means. Right. So let's cut that out. So we're making hara sauce first. I'll take hara the, means hara, and you add in half a half teaspoon, teaspoon of, of uh, garlic paste. Or one one, one teaspoon. Make it one teaspoon. Okay. Two tablespoon of oil. Tablespoon, just chili flakes. My favorite ingredient, chili. One and a half teaspoon. Wow, this is going to be really spicy. Yes, it's going to be spicy. As yes. make sure you don't burn the garlic. Yeah. Okay. Just. And now the lemon juice. Um, around two tablespoons. Pinch of salt. Hmm. Okay, lemon juice, crushed garlic, pinch of salt. I'm sure this is going to taste really sweet and sour. Or just. Just uh, sour and spicy. Sour and spicy, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Ali, I'm sure this is an amazing sauce. Yeah, it is. It looks amazing, the color. And I love... Now I'm going to uh, deep fry the boiled potatoes. Okay. okay. Can I deep fry them for you? Sure. I'll do it. Like I was saying, I love... Amazing. Chili... Uh, this is something like chili sauce. Yeah, it's a chili sauce. Yeah. And we want this to be crispy, brown, or? Uh, it should be brown, brownish. Make sure they don't stuck together. Can I have a tissue, please? So our main uh, aim here is we want to teach you recipes which don't take a very long time and you don't have to stand in front of the stove and fry for hours. Um, this is something that can be made in 10-15 minutes maximum. Yeah. So we taught you how to make the chicken shawarma. We're teaching you how to make the potato hara. But Ali, could you just give us some more ideas, you know, just yeah. randomly? In what general, else can you, make? you should uh, you should keep after after time. You know, everybody's tired and hungry 
So uh, you should keep your uh, food as simple. E simple, easy, and as fast as possible. So uh, these recipes are definitely will help you. And uh, things like uh, spring rolls, the you should. It's it's very easy to do because uh, the filo paste you can find outside yeah. in the supermarket. Just buy it and fill it up with your favorite ingredients. Like How chicken. about fill it up with that chicken sh chicken shawarma you made? Uh, I can marinate yeah. the chicken yes. the way you just taught us to. Yeah, marinate. but it should be minced chicken, minced, yeah. you know. Um, uh, be creative as possible. Uh, usually, everybody puts a cabbage. Don't use cabbage. Use and, something yeah. else. And we usually go outside and buy ready-made spring rolls and pakoras yeah. as well. Let's just try to make it at home because it's going to be fresh and it's not going to be so uh, oily. Oily. And you can always make in advance and freeze it. Yeah. So, that gets very uncomfortable when things are too oily during the yeah. So I always uh, avoid uh, aftari from outside. I don't buy it at all. Uh, just try to, to make... And it's fresh and then you, you pass your time as well in the kitchen. So now uh, they're almost... Uh, potatoes are almost done. Right. Now you see the potatoes have uh, surfaced, so it means they're almost done. Right. Oh, this a very good trip. question. Yeah. Uh, we usually, even while frying fries and all, I read somewhere first just keep the flame high, then low, and then high. It should be well uh, when you're frying something, uh, you should fry on a medium heat. Okay. The oil should be hot, very hot, uh, but. Uh, bring the heat down right. and when you fry uh, when you're frying a french fry or spring roll anything which is deep fry if it's on the bottom of the oil bottom of the pan it's not ready okay. once it start floating right. it means it's ready look the potatoes yeah. have come on yeah. on top nice so it's done you see nice and golden beautiful and ali also have to teach us or just request the Islamabad married chefs yeah, we make pakoras, but yeah. I'm sure we can make something else with that batter, you know? Uh, Different kind of pakoras, not only potato and chicken. No, you can... Uh, I'm, I'm sure you can do so much with it. Yeah, you can definitely, you can do so many things with it. Uh, uh, we also have, uh, we also do chicken pakoras sometimes. Yeah, the, the chicken pakoras of the Slambad Marriott uh, being a thought are amazing. You have to tell us the exact recipe, please. Sure. Now I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay, and toss. Uh, make sure all the oil is, you know. Now my my hara sauce. It's it's chili again. Chili, garlic, oil, uh, chili flakes, garlic, oil, lemon juice. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to add uh, toss this potato. Wow. Into this sauce. This is something really different. Yes. And serve it with the shawarma. You can have it with shawarma. With, uh, well, make sure you have nice, cool drink with it. Hmm. It's kind of spicy. Spicy and sour. Now, at last, I will add one of my favorite ingredients: coriander. My favorite ingredient, yeah, coriander and mint. I like adding mint with potatoes. Mint? Yeah, you can add. Oh, sure. Mint just enhances something. This just enhances the flavor. Exactly. So, this is done. Now I'm Beautiful. going to plate. Ali, these uh, uh, recipes look amazing. Um, they're perfect to make uh, for iftar time. Yes, uh, they're uh, easy and uh, uh, they're uh, light on the stomach. Very, so. very important. We will try to bring recipes that are, you know, we usually think deep fried food tastes the best, but no, we're going to prove you wrong because our chefs at the Stambad Married are experts at this and we're going to bring you recipes that are light 
flavorful and nutritious yes. recipes that you can make for iftar and for suhoor. So thank you, Ali. Thank you so much. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's show. I'm going to be back tomorrow with some new recipes for iftar and suhoor. Recipes from which part of the world, I don't know. But you'll have to tune in to find out because tomorrow's show is going to be just as exciting. Till then, take care of yourself. Goodbye.